is Maureen Kamari of Amari Baking Center and Ellie. Hi guys. Hi, we are live, yay. So today we're gonna do something really exciting Ellie can show us. I know if you guys are bakers and bakerettes, you've seen this really, really cool trend for number cakes. They have different names, number cakes, number tarts, cookie cakes, cookie tarts, different things. I'm just gonna go with number cakes. So yeah, we're gonna do a small demo of how to do a simple, simple, simple one. You can start out with. So update before we get started. As you join us, say hi, love bubble, say where you're from. Even if it's during the repost, feel free to say hi, okay? So we'll be having classes next week in Nakuru. We're still doing an intake. So if you want, please sign up, inbox, call us, please. We're taking intake for the Nakuru classes. And we'll also be having the intermediate class that will be the week after next week. We have like two spots left, so if you're interested, please join us, all right? So, um, you know, as you join us, by the way, you guys, I want feedback from you guys. If you can, like, be letting us know what, uh, what else you want us to share. Just if you have a topic that I can cover in 20 to 30 minutes that's cake decoration-like, feel free to comment and let me know, okay? Because I love doing this stuff. I love sharing. Anyway, I can help. I'm happy to. So, Naomi Kago says Jumbo. Woo! Hi, Naomi Kago. Jumbo. Thank you so much for joining me, Bikarets Naomi. Always so much fun. So, I think I'll just get started. Um, so, like I said, today I'm doing the tart cakes or number cakes or cookie cakes. Except for this time, I've decided not to do with a cookie. I find that a cookie tends to be really dry, and I'm always curious as to how do people eat those cakes. How do you cut a cookie? Anyway maybe you break off the cookie my point is i want to try this out with cake because you know for us it tends to be more economical and a little easier so i baked a cake and i'm just gonna do the o or the zero however you want to call that um cake so i use a marble cake and i chilled it in the fridge i find if you chill it a little bit it doesn't have so many crumbs because remember we're gonna cut it into it so um bake your cake starting from like a 10 inch round going above more um, and then now chill it in the fridge then you come back here and we can start working on it so um yeah i'm just gonna move this out of the way this is what we'll be doing so rosanna says hey the v the vegan fondant hi rosanna the vegan fondant is coming like i'm doing that in the nakuru class and then after that we're gonna have a recipe book that has that so like the week after that i think i'll you know we'll update I'll make sure you get it, girl. I promise. Uh, Marceline says, hi, Amari. Hi, Marceline. She's on time. Yay. You're on time yet. Yay. <laughs> Wairimo Cab says, hi, Maureen. Hi, Wairimo. Madoni Gishia says, hi. Oh, hi, Madoni. Guys, you're joining me today. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm glad we're grabbing Belinda myself. Mackinan says, hi. Oh, Belinda. What's up, Belinda? Represent. Thank you for joining me. Always fun to have you. <laughs> All right, guys. So... Anyone else? We're good. Okay, just We're feel good. free. Even if we don't catch your comment, I will catch it. For sure. I'll comment. It will be caught. We'll be caught, for sure. Okay? And you will be catching them. So, <laughs> um, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. So, I like using a huge board for this. It's like a 16-inch cake board. You don't have to use it. I just feel that I love having all this space to do my cake. So, that's kind of what I'm using right now, okay? And um, I'm going to have some toothpicks because I'm going to tort this cake um, after I make a hole in the middle. So I told you guys I'm doing like an O or a zero or whatever you want to call it. So I'm actually using a donut cutter to do this, but a round cutter would be so much better. I just don't have the right size. So that's why I'm using a donut cutter. But, you know, feel free yourself to use a round cutter. So I hope you guys can see this. So let's see if this works or I may have to actually uh, tort them first. All right, so this is how I do this. I just kind of take out the middle. I find it comes out so nicely, guys, which is why I love using it. Feel free to do it any other way. I just like easier ways myself. Then I put my toothpicks. Remember how I was showing you when we're torting? I know it's a little tricky, but you can be able actually to see. So, sorry, um, I'm going to use a turntable. It's better to tort it so we'll just keep it there this way just have your bread knife there okay and just kind of take it round right 
so that you're able as much as possible to get it cut okay so guys I have like a donut looking like thing here going so the first thing is that I'm going to oops, place one side here so you can see my little thing right there and the second part so as you can see it's uneven in some parts that's why the toothpicks help because I'll be able to put it back nicely which is the point here okay so logistics of decoration let's see how am I gonna do this I'll start with this one now I want to turn this over I want to flip it onto the board and remember we don't want it to stick so what I do or what I find easy is just kind of put like blobs of icing like that okay then flip it over there's my middle I move my board I still don't remove my toothpick because I need it to stay there so now I'm gonna pipe my frosting and you can use a round tip um, this is let me see if I see it too goodness I can't see I think this is a 2d guys <laughs> it's a wilted tip 2d round I'll check for you guys better next time remember we want to really see this um sort of shapes oops i wanted to do half with a round one and then show you with this other one it's a french tip this is a today they are just not even 4b i saw this one it's a 4b <laughs> so i like 4b because see guys how it looks like now the one thing about a cake i discovered do you see that if you don't move fast enough it follows you so you have to press and then lift real quick so it doesn't follow you but I found if you apply a little bit of icing around maybe like a thin layer um, you can do that and it will not follow you so I'm just gonna really quickly fill this in you don't have to fill it the whole place with icing so much you just need somewhere for your little sandwich cake to hold together So I'm gonna fill that, fill that, fill that, we're good, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna flip the other part of the cake on top of it. Give me a minute, let me flip it. So I like having a board underneath it as I slowly bring it out, like so. So yes, my cake had broken up a, a little bit, but I think it still looks okay. How many love bubbles from my marble cake? Lots and lots. Awesome. Anybody else joining us? Any questions? Feel free to ask, guys. Maria, Maria, Mahine, Sharif. Ooh, Maria, where have you been, girl? Thank you for joining us. I'm putting my turntable underneath so I can do this better. So at this point, I just kind of go around to make sure it looks nice. And now I can remove my little toothpicks, okay? Now I'm using buttercream. You can make it real stiff if you want. It looks better, whole shape better. Um, you can use Curato's whipped cream, just add a little bit of gelatin in it. It kind of um, help, helps it like become a little stable. But I prefer buttercream for this because this is a butter cake. It's a marble cake, so I think it'll go very well and it'll hold really nicely. But, you know, feel free to use other types of frosting. Even Swiss meringue works very well as well. So you can try them out. So again, I kind of want to do the half round tip, half French tip thing going. So press a lot as you start off and just kind of let it have a little peak. It looks cool and it looks like that. And we'll have to add stuff. So it always looks amazing. Okay, guys, so this is the repetitive, tedious part where I have to keep piping these things. If you can, make sure your cake, unlike mine, this is what happens when you're in a hurry. Um, Ruth, Ruth Ricky says hi. Hi, Ruth. Thanks for joining us. 
So glad you could join. We're making a number cake for those of you who just joined us. Or number tart cake or cookie tart cookie. Okay, this thing has so many names, man. If you guys have heard any other names, feel free to comment and let me know because I don't know one name for this thing. So I'm using a French tip. So like I decided to show you guys these different shapes for these things. They look cool. And hey, you can color it, by the way. We've done one before and it was purple. So, you know, you don't have to do white. It depends on your theme or your customer, your client or your event, whatever it is. All right, guys. Now, if you feel your spaces in between, you can come and fill them. But I will tell you, sometimes when I'm adding the many things I'm about to add, that's when I tend to add it also. So it can hold on to my things. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, so the toppings are like up to you, okay? A lot of people do them with macarons, but if you're not such a pro, I'm still getting the hang of it, by the way, to be honest. So if you don't have macarons, you can just find a theme to do it. So I have different toppings today where you can use, like you can use, I made little chocolate um, love bubbles, man. This is, you, you see guys why I love love bubbles, right? I even make love bubbles of chocolate. So you can make little love chocolates and you can have like other chocolate types. You can have little fudge pieces, little chocolate biscuits. You can have actual biscuits like these ones. And then I also, today I'll try out with flowers. We have some orange lilies and a rose. Now the re what I wanna tell you guys about flowers though, please be careful where you get them. So these flowers are actually very organic. They're from our garden, okay? The reason why I tend to stay away from flowers when they're bought is because they may be toxic that are there. So make sure if you use them, use cling film to wrap the stalk as well as the back part of the flower, okay? So be careful with that. Um, I rarely use them because of that, because you never know. You never know one chemical that somebody could react to. So if it does come into contact with your cake, make sure there's no contact with the flour and your cake. All right, guys? So I'm going to start just like randomly putting things in here. It's an art, I think, to be random when you're a baker. It's not so easy, but we can try it out. So I just kind of um, try and like maybe pair some cookies together if I find it's not sticking the way I want I'll do my little blob like that see if you feel like it's not sticking I see blob right there so I tend to like things going into opposite directions so I think I'm gonna do like little biscuits to start with Mimi Madondu says hi hi Amenya too says hi hi Juliet thank you for joining Okay, so I start with that, and then I just kind of continue from there, okay? This thing is, you remember, if anybody has seen them, they go nuts on these things. So I just kind of, with some sort of symmetry, stick things in between. So we can put one in here. Just make sure it sits very nicely, okay? So after that, maybe I can put in some love hearts in a way that people can see. So I'll put on one on each side. Okay, so like maybe you guys can see it from there, like that. So I tend to kind of want to, I don't know, I tend to go with symmetry after a while. It's, I'm like counting the little chocolates I'll put in between each biscuit. So you can think that way, by the way, guys. You know us bakers, we, have, we like some kind of order. If I find some really empty space, I fill it with some frosting as I add on. So this is a kind of creative cake where you go nuts with these things all right I'm trying to use all my chocolates today because you know i love my love bubbles where are my love bubbles by the way i hope i'm getting a whole bunch you are <laughs> i appreciate those love bubbles i feed on them <laughs> okay so i think i've basically stuffed a lot of stuff over there and so i'm just kind of asking myself where can my rose go so maybe and especially with the roses one way you can deal with them is you cut the end of a rose and you stick a toothpick you know somewhere in there so it can be able to go inside your cake then maybe i'm just gonna you know place it somewhere like there okay guys and i can find one other place to put my rose i think i should put it right there right ellie 
Yep. Right next to it. Because there's no other. Rose cake. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, but I feel it's getting busy. I'm going to move my little fudge thing out of here. Or let's move what the fudge thing actually. Velvety Chunk says hi. Hi, Velvety Chunks. I love your name, by the way. And thank you for all the, always joining us. We will never forget you, Velvety Chunks. Okay. So you might have to move things around if you feel you've overstuffed some places. So I like, I'm putting my roses together because they're the only two roses there. Okay. There we go. So, any love bubbles for my cake so far? The a lot coming up you were putting in. Okay. So now what I want to do is maybe fill up some little filler flowers. Okay. My little toothpicks come in handy. So I just kind of want to stick that. Let me see where I can stick it. Sometimes I just kind of like looking at where it can go. I think it can go there. This is all creativity, people. I know us bakers are real creative. So we can get creative and just kind of find symmetrical places for the flowers to go. Okay? And I'm sure some of you can do a better job of this. So get creative, guys. Get creative. I want to put four of them because the OCD in me is telling me that. So <laughs> feel free to do different things. I just like, like, even numbers somehow for some reason. Okay, so there we go. Oh my God, guys. Number cake right there. I hope you guys can see it. Love bubbles for it. And you can present it this way. I know it doesn't look that way on the board, but you know. There we go. Okay, so love bubbles from my cake. Yeah. Any questions? Nuts. If you don't have any questions. If you post it, we will check it later. Sorry, guys, we sometimes have a delay. So, um, you know, if you post questions that we don't answer right away, we will answer them. All right, then. So, guys, it's been awesome. I hope this will help someone. By the way, please, somebody do a number kick and post it on the comments. On the comments. Rosanna Colaco says, chocolate rose leaves are good. There you go. That is an amazing idea. By the way, Rosanna, I'm waiting to see this number cake with chocolate leaves it'd be so awesome and by the way guys another idea if you're doing like an engagement cake you can cut this out and then the middle you can do like the 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 diamond part of a ring isn't that exciting guys like a ring thing there and oh engagement ring thing <laughs> I'm waiting for that too <laughs> no excitement right anyway guys it's been fun tgif have fun on this friday do number cakes love bubbles i'll see you next time nakuru we are coming Woo!